Hey everyone, um, I got the new TiVo update for UI and I want to go ahead and walk through and show you some of the things and uh, give you a feel for what uh, I thought was a, new, a nice improvement. So let's go ahead and I'll zoom in a little bit here and then we can get a better look at the screen. Alright, um, let's go ahead and start from scratch and go to live. One of the things that I, I thought was kind of cool is right here, what you're seeing is you're seeing the same bar as before, but it's a, a little cleaner, nice rounded edges, kind of tells you what's going on. And if you go ahead and hit the info, this is a nice feature as well. I thought this was important. It uh, goes ahead and it shows you what channel and what's recording on what. Before, when I was using this, I had to kind of use the next channel type thing to, to see, oh, it's on this one, it's on that one. Um, these indicators light as always. Um, if you hit live TV, it does shuffle between them, and but you can get around that by, like I said, by just hitting info. That way, if you don't want to disturb what you're watching at the moment, um, not a big improvement, but an appreciated one. Let's go ahead and go on to the guide. Now the guide's a lot cleaner. Um, still the double pane as seen before, but just set up a lot nicer, a little smoother. One of the things I like about it is you'll notice that. Um, if I, I've got what I'm recording now as before, but now there's a check mark showing that if I was going to record something else, it's already on mine. So I can look at a glance and say, okay, I'm recording that. Furthermore, there's new tag markers on the shows showing me what exactly is new, and that's very appreciated. As before, you can actually look into the past if you weren't sure if a show went by or not, as well as into the future to see what the next level of programming is going to be or the next day's programming is going to be. Um, Going into the, well, I'm not sure what Integrant TV is, but if you go down and you explore the channels, like, I don't know, Willie's Wildlife, let's go look at that one. Okay, I click that. Same as before. You get some instruction, tell you what's going on, you get some options. That hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, let's go to some areas that I felt were actually greatly improved. So I go back to this menu. Um, I look at my shows. This is um, not as obnoxious. It's been smoothed out a little bit more. They've got the, uh, the little mutant TiVo TV thing still up in the corner, uh, showing me what's recorded, showing me what's got floors. What I like is again, this is um, this was kind of phased in, but it's still kept with the new UI. Is you've got the new. Let's go ahead and go to a show, and I'll talk about some of the features I like here. Let's go to Spliced. And one of the things that I thought was actually kind of cool is when I'm playing a show like this, the bar is a lot thinner, and there's a it's got check marks for every 15 minutes, but and then this of course is information on it on what I'm watching. Oops, I just went back to live, and uh, apparently I don't have a PGA call. Let's go back to that. That recording because I want to illustrate this was a cool feature back into it sorry about the delay um, resume and when I fast forward you know it's got your indicator but also tells you how many minutes you're into it and that was something that was kind of missing prior another thing is if I were to go ahead and hit um, standard pause then the forward and backward is my my slow motion my step frame by frame and when i go ahead it gives you a full length of the show as it's cruising along the bar is a lot thinner so if you're looking for text or something along the bottom or a web address or what have you a lot easier to see when you pause it now, um, one of the things that if you're in the United States is you pay for TiVo service on a month-to-month -month basis. And um, there were commercials and advertisements put into it um, right above the line. Kind of annoying, particularly for a service they pay for. But one of the things that I, I have, they've changed a little bit that I kind of like, and it's got to get to the end of the show here to see it. I hit play. Ask me if I want to delete it. Now, the nice thing is there used to be advertisements up in here in the third bar. But now, if they do show up, they show up down here. I can still see them when I want to, but they're, they're less distracting, um, a little bit less of an annoyance. 
Okay, now let's go to another feature that I kind of liked. Uh, the transition, also the way the art transitions from one frame to another, that's a little different. It's more of a phase transition and less of just an abrupt change. But I go down to find movies. Um, here's where it gets kind of cool. You hit search, and this is this looks the same as before. I know that uh, The River, which is a show, TV, whatever, it's coming up. And I'm like, okay, I want to see that. So I go ahead and I hit, I start typing in The River. Yeah, make sure you get your space in there, otherwise it gets confused. But already it, it's seen, you know, The Walking Dead, all this and all that. So I started continuing with the river, and, and this is a, a nifty little feature that uh, you don't have to type the whole thing in. But here's what it is. I see that I've got the years that the shows are on, which is nice. And then whatever year you're currently in, obviously we're in 2012 right now, it doesn't list the year because that's a current show. So I go over and I decide I want to start exploring these shows. Here's another new tidbit that they added. As I cruise down, if the show is available to me in another format instead of over-the-air programming, then it shows up over here. So the River 1984 version shows up if I wanted to go through Amazon Marketplace and watch videos there. If I go to... Um, the River Murder, I can get through Blockbuster or Amazon. And if you, say, take the show, it'll give you the option to go ahead and do the purchase. And if you go down here, The River is something that uh, goes through TV, and that's the up-and-coming show. And you click on it, and it brings up the nearest information, and you can still go do classical stuff. But, like, let's say, um, let me show you something else. Let's say you want to browse. Now, the browse features have been greatly improved. You go here and you browse. And it's desired, you, you've got collections, and, and this is great stuff. This is, you've got it laid out in kind of an icon type system, um, not entirely different than smartphones or iPhone, um, Android or iPhone type platforms, or I guess Mango if you're a uh, Microsoft type person. And you go ahead and just like, okay, I'm interested in most popular action movies. And so it goes ahead and pulls up everything that they can find on it. And so I go through and I look at this. And again, you know, if I, if I go to a movie like uh, Escape from New York, I've got the option. Of, I already have my Netflix tied into my TV, though. So I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna watch that. And boom. Get this movie and it'll immediately launched into Netflix and pull the movie up for me. So it's not that it's it's really hard to go ahead and and um, switch over to these platforms, but it's nice knowing you can just pull it in through. Or if my Amazon account is hooked into this, and I, I want to go ahead and pay for it per showing, that's still a nice answer. And you can search other ways, like they've done this part right here. You go down through TV shows, and. Um, Again, suggestions is done a lot nicer where I can kind of go to the folder. Um, most popular. And I, I go to most popular. Maybe I know I like a certain type of comedian, or I, there's a certain actor I really like, but I don't know their name. It's nice having the, the show cover subs show, or cover art show up so you can like, oh, this chick from Two Broke Girls, I've seen her live. I, mean, I wouldn't mind seeing her show, although I've never seen it on TV now. I thought these were really nice add-ons, a really nice way to view this. Um, again, sports. Now, mind you, I'm hooked up through over-the-air only. I don't have any direct TV or cable or, or Dish Network or whatever the satellite is. Um, another thing I liked is available from. This lets you go ahead and pick. Like, say you you know you don't have any of these others, but you've only got Netflix, or you only do Hulu Plus. It's a lot nicer, uh, definitely a better way to do things. Oh, sorry, I went back there. Um, categories. Categories, it's a nice way to run things. Categories, you go through, it, it really, like, say you're an anima, anime nut. And you go in, and now, again, you can find all these shows. You can immediately pull out, if it's through Netflix or Blockbuster, and it, it allows you 
you know, maybe I never thought Blockbuster was useful. And to this point, I still don't. But it helps me decide that because if suddenly I start seeing a large uh, number of shows I want happen to be on Blockbuster, maybe I'm more on board with that. So it, it gives you the freedom of knowing where stuff is. And I think that's the key market point here is that you can tell me what service I would be able to get it from. And that way there's no guesswork. Um, I, I recently started exploring Hulu, not Hulu Plus, but regular Hulu. And I found a, a few shows that I couldn't find anywhere else. And it was, it was kind of nice. Um, they're still doing that service wrong, but you know, we'll see. Um, another thing I've noticed, uh, the, basically the managing recordings, all that, that's pretty much the same as it was. Uh, almost everything else is pretty much the same as the apps. Uh, no whiz bang there. The, the main improvements have been what I've kind of shown you. If you have any questions about anything else, uh, send me a note and maybe I'll make a video of it and, and we can go ahead and follow up with that area. I hope this helps and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and I'll catch you another time.